fist, tightly roll up the five fingers with the back of hand flat, and the thumb pressed on the second knuckle of the forefinger and the middle finger. Palm, stretch out or bend the thumb, with the other four fingers strengthened together backward. Hook hand, bend the wrist with the five fingertips together, or the thumb, the forefinger and the middle finger together to form a hook. Thrust punch. Bend the arm and hit the fist fast from the waist forward, with the strength extending onto the back of hand. Plant punch. Stretch the bent arm downward or front downward swiftly with the strength extending onto the back of hand. Hammer strike. Raise the arm, then bend it and strike downward with the palm of the fist up and the strength extending onto the back of hand. Straight arm chop. Chop swiftly the fist downward or forward from side of body, with the arm straightened, the palm of the fist up, and the strength extending onto the back of hand. Palm push. Push the upended palm fast from the waist forward at high speed, with the arm straightened and the strength extending to the outline of the palm. Palm push is also called palm strike. Palm turning. Bend the arm slightly, shake the wrist and turn the palm. Then raise it to the side of body or over the head. Piercing palm. Stretch the bent arm along the body with the palm of the hand up and the strength extending onto the fingertips. Tilt palm. Raise the arm and the wrist upward and tilt the upended palm with the strength extending to the four fingers. Hook elbowing. Raise the arm flat on side of body with the palm of the fist downward, then hook the forearm inwards. Elbowing. Crook the elbow and clench the fist with the palm of the fist downward. Then head the elbow forward or sideward with the strength onto the elbow end. Upward elbow block. Bend the forearm upward with the palm of the fist inwards. Hold the strength in the forearm and elbow inwards as inwards block, outward as outward block. Bow stance with the tiptoe of the front foot slightly inwards and the whole sole on land. Bend the knee to semi squat, leveling the side and knee vertical to the tiptoe. Straighten the other leg with the tiptoe pointing inwards and slant forward with the whole sole on land.
horse stance. Stand with the distance between the feet three times the length of a foot, tiptoe pointing forward, and then leveling the thigh. Empty stance. With the tiptoe of the back foot slanting forward, bend the knee to semi squat, leveling the thigh with the whole sole on land. Bend the front leg slightly with a tensing instep, and the tiptoe softly pointing the ground. Squatting stance. Squat one leg with the hip clinging to the shank. And pull the whole sole on land, with the knee and the tiptoe slightly outward. Stretch the other leg close to the ground, with the whole sole on land and the tiptoe pointing inwards. Resting stance. Cross the legs and squat, with the whole sole of front foot on land and the tiptoe pointing outward. Lift the heel of the back foot and the hip cling to the trunk. Splitting stance. Cross the legs with the tiptoe of the front foot pointing outward at 45 degrees, and the whole sole on land, and bend the knee to the semi squat, leveling the thigh. Straighten the other leg with the front part of the sole on land, and the tiptoe pointing forward. Cross legged sitting. Cross the legs and sitting downward, with the hip, the outside of the back leg, and the instep all on land. The side of the front leg clings to the chest. T step. Stand with the legs semi squatting together, the whole sole of one foot on land, and the other clinging to the inside of the supporting foot. With a tiptoe touching the ground, back cross step. One leg takes a lateral step from behind the other leg, crossing the legs. Front cross step. One leg takes a lateral step. From ahead of the other leg, crossing the legs. Shift and jumping step. Lift one leg and the other leg bounces the other, with the lifted leg landing inside of the bouncing one. Snap kick. Stand with the supporting leg upstanding or slightly bent, and kick the other bent leg straight forward to the height lower than the waist, with tensing knee and instep. The lower leg should bounce quickly and powerfully, with the strength extending to the tiptoe. Heel kick. Stand with the supporting leg upstanding or slightly bent, and kick the other bent leg straight forward with crooked tiptoe. Kick vigorously with the heel to the height between the chest and the waist, with the strength extending to the heel. Side so kick. Stand with the supporting leg upstanding or slightly bent, and kick the other bent leg straight sideward, with crooked tiptoe pointing inwards. The strength extending to the heel, the upper part of the body leaning and foot kicking higher than above the waist. Front kick. Stand with the supporting leg upstanding and the whole sole on land, 
Straighten the other leg and kick forward with a crooked tiptoe reaching to the foreleg. The kick should be light, quick and powerful, with the upper part of the body upstanding. Front slap kick. Stand with the supporting leg upstanding and kick with the other leg upward. Tensing the instep flat, slap in flat in front of the forehead with the hand on the same side. And the slapping should be accurately loud and clear. Knee raised balance. Stand steady on the supporting leg with the upper part of the body upstanding. Raise the other leg in front of the body with bent knee close to the chest. The slanting shank coming down inwards and the instep tensing flat inwards. Watch moon balance. Stand steady with the supporting leg upstanding or slightly bent. Lean the upper part of the body. Twist the waist and stretch it upward to the same side of the supporting leg. Throwing the chest and lowering the waist. Lift the other leg upward on the same side of the supporting leg. With the shank bent inwards, the instep tensing flat and the sole upwards. Joint leap. Jump with one stamping foot and leap with the other. The leaping distance should be longer than both stance. Throw the chest and hold the head high in the air, extending the body. Jump and kick with the jumping leg bent to the straight forward, with the crooked tiptoe higher in the waist and strength extending to the heel. Jump front kick. Lift high the swinging leg and straighten upward jumping leg with the instep tensing flat over the shoulders. Slapping should be continuously quick accurate, loud and clear. The whole set of elementary Chang Quan Routine 3 consists of 4 sections and 36 movements. Please watch the demonstration of the whole routine of elementary Chang Quan Routine 3. Please watch again the back demonstration of the whole routine of elementary Changquan routine 3.